I'm struggling. <gasps> I just had an idea. Okay. <laughs> Good morning world! If you haven't been watching my recent series, then you need to check it out. To be caught up, I bought an at-home espresso machine. I had been wanting to spice up my coffee routine for a while. I just made simple drip coffee with a pot and that just wasn't doing it for me. So I got an espresso machine and it was an adventure because the first one that I got actually didn't work. So then we had to go to the store and get a new one and it was a whole thing. But I'm so happy with my espresso now. I have had like four lattes in the last day. Yay! So, I'm currently gonna go to HEV and I'm gonna get stuff to decorate the coffee bar because right now there's a ton of utensils that you use for the coffee machine that are out that don't really have a place and then also I have this whole entire drawer full of red and green Christmas stuff that I decorated when I did my coffee bar video in like December. <laughs> I haven't really paid a ton of attention to H-E-B's coffee section, so I'm really excited to see like what they have. And I really hope that they have some nice organizational stuff. That would be really, really, really great. Oh my goodness, look how professional that looks. That's pretty incredible. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so H-E-B had a lot of really good stuff in their like home decor kitchen sections, but they had a lot of stuff that I don't need. It was like a lot of really good stuff. Like there was a pitcher, like some sort of milk looking pitcher thing. And then there was like the sugar canister pouring thing. It was all adorable, but I just like, it wasn't what I needed. I got more coffee espresso beans. If you want to see what we use, this is it. It's just ground espresso roast from Starbucks. And then I got some vanilla flavoring. I love how this looks because this literally looks like a professional coffee place. And then I asked them if I could have a second bag and they said yes, which was great because I have this little trash can that my siblings have been breaking, but that's okay. I got it from Amazon and it has been so helpful. It hangs on the back of my passenger seat and if I ever have a little straw, I can just put it in there. Honestly, my car life and my car routine is so perfected. Everything that's in here is so so perfect. I couldn't be more happy. So we're gonna go to Target. What I really need is some sort of big organizational thing to put everything on. I seriously can't. The dollar section has been so cute recently. These are nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. I really don't know how I feel about the stuff that I got at Target. I went in like having a vague idea of what I wanted and when I got there there were so many options but nothing was perfect it was like it was too small or it had a different purpose than what like I would use it for and then like I found this really cute coffee container that opens and it has a little spoon but the top was this like gray black and that's just gonna like make the coffee bar look too dark because there's already not much light in that area so I don't know I ended up just like going on Pinterest trying to get inspired and I bought something that looked like something from a Pinterest picture and I'll show you when we get home but I don't know. Quick honorable mention, I found in the clearance section two pairs of really nice, soft, I can't, I'll, I'll show you later, sweatpants, and they were only for $5 each because they were in the clearance. So y'all, go to the clearance section, it's amazing. Hello, these are so comfortable. I'm gonna return the other ones though, the gray ones I got, because they were really ugly, but these are cute. I like them. Okay, haul time. So, from Target, I got this little sugar container. I don't use sugar in my coffee, I only use milk. Um, but I was thinking this would be so cute about cinnamon. I have this container of cinnamon. I just think that'd be really cute. And it was like $5. Then I got two matching white mugs because I want to make lattes for my dad. I don't drink hot coffee, really. Um, but I just really like these mugs because they're basic and they were like $2. Then I got this. So in a lot of the pictures photos, they had some sort of lazy Susan like this. I have one, but it's only one story. <laughs> Is that what you call it? So I was thinking about putting like all my mugs, um, my little pour pitcher I have, the espresso stuff I have, and things like that onto this. And I'm really unsure about it. 
So I'm really just gonna have to set it up and see, I'm keeping all the receipts. I got this mason jar in a video a long time ago and it's super big and I haven't found a purpose for it. I decided I'm gonna put coffee in it. This is my bag of espresso and then I got a new bag of espresso. I'm gonna pour it in there and then in, also in the mason jar, I'm gonna put the little scooper that I got with the espresso machine. I think it'd look really cute. So this is what the copy bar currently looks like. It's just a lot, like there's a lot going on. Um, all new stuff that I have is like the scale, these espresso glasses, the basket that I got for the espresso machine, the porta filters that I have, and then there's the actual machine, and then there's just, there's just a lot going on. So we need to organize it. And then here are my drawers. <laughs> Really cute. There's just a lot. I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean out these drawers and like clean up the grounds that are in them. And I'm going to use um, these desk organizers to store all of the espresso equipment just because like this isn't really aesthetic outside of a drawer. You know what I mean? Like I don't wanna hang this anywhere. I don't wanna like have it out. Okay y'all, I've done some configurating. I'm still trying to figure it out. We're on a good track, I think. I don't really know. I'm struggling. <gasps> I just had an idea. I should move the microwave so that this whole thing can be a coffee bar. The little Lazy Susan thing isn't bad. Um, it's really um, not stable. Like if I were to try and move this thing, I would have to take everything off of it because it would fall over for sure. I think I have it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay y'all, this is what we're working with right now. I don't know how I think about it and I really need to take an emotional break because I've gone in circles and I can't just, I can just can't decide what, if I like this or not. Okay y'all, my sister just came over and kind of helped me finish up the coffee bar. I feel really good about it. I'm still waiting on two things in the mail. I'm waiting on a tamp and espresso machine cleaner. So I will open all of that when it comes in a different video. But let me show you what's going on. Okay, it looks so good and the sun's coming out, yay. So I moved the microwave, crazy. I haven't moved the microwave in a while. It's over there, yay. So this is a cutting board that my mom made for me. I put the espresso machine. And I put my espresso glasses, I got these out of the dishwasher, and my little pitcher. I have my coffee beans in my mason jar, perfectly next to my machine. I have a little cutting board I got recently, and some more coffee beans, and my cinnamon, which is so cute. And then I have my new Lazy Susan with all of my mason jars. This was different, because I thought I was actually gonna end up putting like ingredients and the coffee stuff on here, but I always store my mason jars in here, and I thought they would look really cute out. I also have some stirrers to kind of bring some brown over here because I feel like it was a lot of white. Then I have this coffee mug holder, which I had beforehand. These are my new mugs, and then these are mugs I got when I first bought my coffee machine. So then for the drawer, I have the tamp and the stuff like that. that. I have the scale, I have my little dust pan. This is literally my favorite thing in the world, it's so cute. I have my vanilla syrup, some more stuff, some more stuff. I think it looks incredible and I'm so happy to have it all organized.